think I think we got a good squad this year. I forgot to I forgot to say, but have everybody introduce yourself and where you're from. We haven't seen anybody in here. <laughs> I'm gonna go next. Go ahead. Go. Um, Mitch Elgato, Mitch Gardner, Arizona. Um, Marcus, can you walk us through your decision to come back? Because obviously you went in the transfer portal and then you came out of you know out of the draft and then decided to come back to ASU. What was that you were thinking there? Um, you know, this is home. Like this is where I've always wanted to play. So I just couldn't. Or after making the decision to stay in college, I just couldn't see myself playing for any other school or playing anywhere else. So uh, we, me and Bob, me, me and Coach Hurley, uh, we. Stay in contact through the whole process, through the whole draft process. Even if I, even as I was in the portal, so it was. I hit him on like literally the last day to make a decision. I was like, I think I want to come back, and he was he was as happy as ever. So he made the decision a lot easier. How about pulling out of the draft? What was your, what was the main thing there, and saying, hey, I want one more year in college? Uh, I just felt like. I could I could develop a lot more on my my game and as a person I think um, I don't think they seen much of me last year I, I was I had a lot of injuries I only played like twelve games so uh, I think I got a lot more to show and I'm excited I'm excited to be back. Hey Marcus Carson Barber Sun Devil Source what have been some of the points of emphasis for you over the off season? Uh, taking care of my body uh, first uh, making sure I'm I can sustain high minutes and a lot of games so uh, that's the, that's the first and foremost and just improving all all points of my game my leadership uh, using my voice more I've I really never been like a vocal guy so that's one of the things I'm working on this year and leading the young guys that haven't been here or the, everybody that hasn't been here it's a it's a way we do things so I'm just trying to use my voice a little bit more in the locker room. Hey Marcus, Zach Keenan, Doubles Digest. How weird does it feel to just be in a media room with other people? You don't have that experience yet. We yeah, haven't. Man, it's a lot of people right now. It's a lot of people <laughs> right in one space. So I know it's fun. It's exciting. You know, obviously, even the fans coming back in the arena. I'm so I'm so excited to play in front of uh, Sun Devil Nation. So hopefully, everything goes as planned and uh, there's no hiccups in the in the process. You talked a little bit about wanting to show some more of what you can do this year, skill-wise. Sort of, what are some of those things? Um, putting putting the ball on the floor a little bit more, creating creating for myself and my teammates. I think a lot of a lot of the time last year, I, I relied on getting like a a, a kick out pass to me for a, a jump shot, but uh, I feel like I have so much more to offer. I think I have my my package is deeper than that. So I think. Uh, that's a focal point of me coming back to show, to show that as well. Hey, Marcus. Uh, Nicholas Hodel for 987 Arizona Sports. Uh, you mentioned along with the skills that you wanted to show a little bit more leadership. But with, with all the new faces on the team, how do you feel like you're trying to get those guys integrated to what uh, the Sun Devil program is all about? Um, it's just changing the culture because, uh, you know, last year we struggled, uh, but. I just feel like this, this collection of guys. I think everybody's work. Everybody works hard. Everybody's on the same page, and I don't, it's not. It's not. It's not. They're making my job that much easier. They, they all. They all come to work. They all <coughs> love being here. So if everybody that wants to be here, then that's all. That's all you can ask for. Hey, Marcus, Chris Carmen, Sun Devil Source. Can you give your thoughts on some of the guard transfers? Just what you think about their game, what they bring to the table. Uh, we got a lot of experience. Uh, Marion Jackson, DJ Horn, uh, Luther. Uh, he obviously was with us last year, but he couldn't play. But it's a lot of experience, and uh, they're just they compete. That's all they we, they all compete as hard as they can every time they touch the floor on both ends of the court. So um, I think I think they're they're in for a special year as well. Does it feel different in that respect, like the competitiveness of your practice environment? Uh, from last year, yeah. Um, I mean, we we competed last year, but it was just like inconsistency. It was a lot of injuries, a lot of COVID. It was just it was a weird weird year. But we've been able to be consistent with the guys that we have on the court, and in that aspect, it's been, it's been more competitive and more consistent. Marcus Doug Haller with the Athletic. Does Bobby seem the same so far this year, or is it a little bit more dialed up intensity, or just the same old guy? I can, I mean, I can notice a little a, a difference in his approach. I think he, 
I think he's he's on the same page I'm on. Just really really locked in and focusing, just just making sure we reach our full potential this year. That's the biggest thing. Just win as many games as possible, and he's gonna, he's gonna coach us. You know, his resume speaks for itself. He's one of the best coaches in college basketball. So we we're we're, we're ready. <laughs> Marcus, from a style standpoint, um, what might be different about this year's team? Uh, I'm not. That's that's. It's a little early to answer that question. Uh, we just had like our first practice yesterday, so um, I just feel like we we've taken a more of a look more on the defensive side of things. We uh, more schemes and play on, like making sure our effort is there every every possession and not uh, falling asleep on on any possession. So I think we are just more <coughs> aggressive on that end of the floor. So Marcus, when you look at the uh, uh, front court play uh, with guys like Enoch you know, Bauchi, Alon Alonzo Gaffney, I mean, how much do you think AC has improved just compared to last year to this year? And do you think that allows you maybe to play the three more than the four on any given night? Yeah, I think I think I'm more on the wing now. I'm, I'm more of a wing player this year. But uh, yeah, Enoch Enoch has been uh, dealing with some stuff, uh, some injuries. So he's he's but he's coming along. He's playing really well, strong, big. Uh, I mean, it's an improvement from last year. We didn't have really have really have much of a front court presence besides uh, Jalen and Jalen. Jalen's Jalen. He's gonna he's gonna produce when he gets on the court. So I think we've improved in that aspect for sure. We got a lot of a lot of size, a lot of shot blockers and things like that. So I think we'll, we'll be settled in that aspect. What, what have the new assistant coaches uh, brought to the table personality-wise or on the floor? Uh, they're, they're not shy. There's a lot of energy there, uh, yelling, sc screaming on the sidelines, so just making sure that everything's in line, everything. We're competing the right how we're supposed to. Um, you know, I've had a good experience with them all. They're, I love them all. And, they're along for the ride, so, I, so I'm ready to go to war with them. Hey, Marcus, Jordan Spurgeon, Sports 360 AZ. You mentioned the assistant coaches being pretty vocal. Who else on the team is pretty vocal so far? Uh, Luther. Luther, is, uh, he really stepped up into a leadership role. He's very loud in the locker room. Let's just know when, when we're uh, messing up, so I think Luther is probably be the one, the one guy. How's it going, Marcus? Uh, Austin Scott with the State Press. Kind of like he was saying, at this time last year, very limited media, not a lot of fans, and you know now fast forward a year, you got the media and the fans are coming back and kind of re returning to that form of normalcy. Um, is there a different energy or a different vibe kind of going into this season in comparison to last year, or is your mindset the same no matter what the circumstances are? Uh, it's it's the same like on the as far as on the court, but it, like I said, it's like, it's it's super excited. We're everybody's excited in the whole program to get in front of fans. And to just be able to interact with interact with ASU more. Uh, last year, it just kind of felt like it was just us and the other team out there, and it was, that's it. It was. It's a little. It makes it a little easier to get motivated for the games. But as far as my approach, it's, I think it's the same. Marcus, without Josh, there's no clear front runner for best shoe game on the team. <laughs> Who is the best shoes this year? Uh, I don't. I don't know. Everybody's like, nobody's really. Showing us on too much right now. Everybody's, <laughs> everybody's wearing what the everybody's wearing what the equipment managers bring. So I'm not sure yet. So we'll figure. It, we'll see soon. What do you have on? What do I have on? Yeah. Right now I got this slides. Nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> <laughs> nothing crazy.